Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and iOS 12.1 beta one has been out for over a week now. We didn't get the update we thought we would at the earlier part of this week. And I wanted to talk about how it's been on my devices. Now here I have the 10s max, the seven plus and the iPhone 10. And this one's actually running iOS 12. And the reason I brought it here is because some people were saying the displays were getting washed out with iOS 12 and on the 10s max, they don't look washed out. And if you compare them to the iPhone 10, the colors look pretty much the same to me. You put the displays at the same brightness, true tone is off on both of them right now, just so we can see it. And it looks pretty much the same on both displays. So I'm not sure if iOS 12.1 fixed it or not. I never noticed dull colors, but I know a lot of you reported this with iOS 12. So 12.1 beta one may or may not fix it. I'm not sure, but I would expect Apple to push an update to do that. Now, as far as battery is concerned, iOS 12.1 beta one has pretty much the same battery as iOS 12 does. So let me set this aside and we'll talk about actual battery health because a lot of you have been asking, how's your battery health on older devices and your iPhone 10? So if we go into battery, battery, you'll see, I actually just turned this one on. So it's not going to show a ton of, of battery life here. You'll see, it's going to say 12 minutes. So I just turned it on, but battery health is 93% on this one. Now this was used for a little bit over a year, a year, and then all of this testing. So pretty good battery life after that amount of time. Now, if we take a look at my iPhone 10, I posted a week or so ago, the actual battery health, and you'll see it was at 99, now it's at 98. But I'm not concerned about this because this is one year later. So that's fine. 80% after two years is normal. I have no problems with that. And that's wirelessly charging it, leaving it on the charger all night long. No problems there. Now, as far as bug fixes, things like that, both of these feel fast, just like iOS 12. I don't really feel they're any different or they don't respond any differently. Everything's basically the same as iOS 12 with the addition of group FaceTime. Now group FaceTime is a great idea, but it's a little buggy right now. I showed that in the iOS 12.1 beta one video where it was a little bit buggy, it just doesn't respond. Things aren't working properly and that's probably why they delayed it. So they'll get that right and that will be working fine. Things like smoothness is great in all of the different apps super fast, even on a device that's a couple of years old, no problems there. And everything's working well. I have no problems whatsoever when it comes to that. So you'll see everything loads nicely. It feels like it's a still a good new phone and this is one they still sell. So you're good to go with the iPhone seven and newer. The older phones are definitely faster on the iPhone 10. Of course, you're not going to get slowdowns with this. This honestly, it's, it's really hard to justify upgrading from an iPhone 10 to a 10 S unless you want that different camera for its video capabilities. And I'll talk more about that in the review. That'll be in a few days, hopefully. So that's really it with beta one. And it's not really anything exciting or new. It's working well. Battery life's about the same. Oh, and I know a lot of you wanted to know how my battery life was on the 10 S max. Let me show you here. So of course, battery life should be a hundred. It's brand new. Uh, but this is today four hours and four minutes and I am at 34%. I get great battery life on this, a couple hour, one to two hours more than I did on the iPhone 10. And you'll see here are the over the last 10 days, four hours, 52 minutes, on and off. And it was charged sometimes, sometimes it wasn't, but this was never drained down to zero. So pretty good since I've had it. That was the first day, so, but the second day, pretty good about five hours screen time and the screen off time is when it's doing things in the background like playing music things like that so I'm pretty happy with it overall one thing I almost forgot was the 10s and 10s max review will be a few days from now probably and that review is going to be similar to last year's review, I think. But the other thing is I want to know if there's anything specifically that you can't find out there that people haven't been able to answer. So I'd like to help you out with that. I tend to use the phone for a full week before I do a review. I think that's really the only fair way to give you an idea of what it's really like. I don't like to just use it for a day or two and then say, here's my review. That's not really fair uh, to you as far as me being 
truthful and honest about how it is. So I normally use phones for a week uh, and that's why the review's not out yet. But I'd love to hear if you have any ideas of things you haven't seen elsewhere that maybe I could answer for you. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Of course, I'll leave the link to the, the wallpaper in the description. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.